What's up guys, it's Jace Overthink Gaming. Today on the channel, we gonna drop a doozy for you guys. All right, I gotta put out a warning. If you're a kid out there that came from the Shardimus Prime channel, that name, right, Shardimus Prime, I didn't understand it. Shittimus Prime, whatever the fuck this dude's name is. If you're a kid, I want you to know right away, watch the video, you might learn something. You might learn a life lesson. And for you man children out there that are coming from the channel are automatically gonna hate because I'm talking about your favorite YouTuber, Shit him is prime. I gotta say, let go of the monitos, these little figures. You know, you guys are in this fantasy land. You know, you guys are stuck over here in your imagination. Get the fuck out of that. Let's talk about the real world, real shit that's going on with your favorite YouTuber. And I gotta say, the dude is at half a million subs and he has not learned how to take criticism at all, guys. I mean, this shit's fucking funny. This dude cannot take it. And the reason why I say that is because I received a message from him on a video that I made from him months back in the summer. <laughs> We'll go over that message. Basically, the dude is trying to censor me, but we'll go over that message. Before I go over the message, I want to show you guys quick clips from the video just so you guys get a recap on what happened and why this dude is so upset, man. Check it out. So I just wanted to express the gratitude to my wife for all the work that she's done and to all the moms out there because a lot of people don't think it's a job, but that is a job. And people also don't realize that what I do is a job. All right, guys, so the number one rule of every e-beggar, you got to convince your audience that YouTube is a job. That's the first rule. The first thing you got to say is YouTube is a job. I work over 40 hours a week making videos. I really feel how... Uh, I, I have already known this, but it is kicking my ass making any kind of video content at all while doing this other gig. We both have jobs that don't get credit for being jobs. Of course, no one's going to take the job seriously. Like, all right, you're doing YouTube, but your wife's got to bring in income somehow. Is your audience supposed to fund her too? Like, seriously, <laughs> she's got to hustle. She's got to make money somehow. She's being a stay-at-home mom. There's plenty of stay-at-home moms that also make money. You know, get her making OnlyFans. Desi Fomo made one. Like, seriously, there's ways to make money. For anybody that wants to help, they, they, they I, I see you guys as my boss. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I have sponsors, but and and I have companies that send me stuff, but you guys are the boss. Without the viewers, the channel doesn't exist. The channel doesn't thrive. The channel doesn't succeed. All right, he's tricking his audience right now. He's prepping them. You know, you're the boss, guy. You're the boss. Like, feel good. Like, you call the shots. You're the boss. <laughs> and what I'm asking for right now from my boss Oh shit guys, here it comes, here it comes. There's a little bit of sick leave, a little bit of vacation time, so that I cannot worry about posting videos just for a little bit, so I can tell my sponsors, hey look, let's, let's decrease the amount that, I, that, that you guys send me for, for promoting you in July. I need to take a little bit of time off to help my wife and, 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 and be stay at home dad. But I can't. But I can't tell my sponsors, "Hey, I'm going to take less money from you, so I can take more time away from videos." If I don't have any kind of financial support, and I'm asking you guys, if you are able to, is to contribute in some kind of way financially. Holy shit! This guy's actually telling his audience that they should pay for his time off. What happened to a boss? Now you upgraded to payroll. I really. <laughs> this is fucking some bullshit. I have a crowdfunding page in the comment in the description below. You can go there. That will help me take time away from posting videos. I always hear it all the time where people tell me, "Hey, Shart, don't worry about it. Just take time away from posting videos. It's all good. We'll be here when you get back." It's not all good, bro. It's not all good if I leave. It's just not, okay? This is that it's it's me losing money and not being able to pay for things when I take time off. It's not okay. So I just, I'm just asking you guys to be a compassionate boss and hook us up with some sick leave. That's what I'm just asking for some sick leave right now. It sounds ridiculous. I know there's assholes out there saying like, wait, so this guy wants us to send him money to do nothing? Okay, 
So now you're thinking about yourself. That's what that is. You're just thinking about where your dollar, you're thinking about you when you say that. So we know the pandemic hit, we know Corona hit, but this dude, he's not making his revenue off YouTube and that is your fault. You should donate your money to him, feel sorry for him. Nah, fuck that shit. And that's why I made the video because you know why? There's a lot of people out there. We all know time has gone by. So many people, close relatives, we've had them come and go. We have people beat it. You know, it's fucked up with the shit that's going on right there. I I'll admit, a lot of people have lost their jobs. A lot of people haven't. It's just all fucked up. Every situation is different, but this dude is a youtuber and he he's asking begging his audience not asking begging straight up e-begging during the pandemic to send this dude money like i said in the video there's many ways this dude could have made money and yes i threw the only fans joke in there but hey man i'm not gonna hate on it it is what it is man it's 2020 like the shit's normalized now uh, whatever man uh, whatever i'm not gonna hate on it like that was a point though i used to like really hate on these thoughts man i used to be like oh fuck that shit but as time went on as my comments I started seeing it's the simps man I can't stop them they're in full force man it's rise up simp nation I can't stop them so it is what it is go make your money out there if you're on OnlyFans whatever it is but anyways back to the main point is this dude wrote a message on that fucking video how long has it fucking been since the fucking summer get fucking over it and we're gonna read the message right now if you took a second to search Shardimus Prime giveaway, you'd see how much I give to my audience. I never asked you for anything. My video had nothing to do with you. Totally disrespectful to insinuate I should whore my wife on OnlyFans. My wife and I had COVID, couldn't work, couldn't sell my figures due to the fear of spreading COVID to my buyers. And YouTube is how I feed my wife and kids. I only asked a small fraction of my viewers, not including you, to help if they could and wanted to. Talking videos are rare on the channel, most are fully produced, and I avoid putting the request for help in a popular video. I didn't expect much. Months later, back on our feet, and I've given money back to those that have helped the most, and I host even more giveaways. You seem to focus your channel on drama. <laughs> You'll never get far like this. It's weak, and I think if you had an ounce of good in you, you would take this video down. All right, you see what the guy's doing right there. He's trying to censor me, trying to make me feel guilty. If you had any ounce of good in you, you would take the video down. That is so fucking stupid. And this dude put it out there, the whole thing about whoring his wife. I was fucking joking. It's a fucking joke. Hey, but if you do, hey, man, I'm not going to hate. Like I said, you do what you do. You make money. You fucking hustle, but you don't fucking beg your audience. And I can guarantee this dude didn't pay fucking nobody back, man. This dude... That's not his style, man. He's an e-beggar. He has a history of it. If you look up his name, you will find fucking people talking about this guy being a fucking scammer. This isn't the fucking first time that he's been called out, but I guess it's been a while. And the fact that I called him out, it's still lingering in his head. He still feels guilty for taking that money. So this dude said, if I took a moment and I searched the Shardimus Prime giveaway, you know? And that's the reason why I'm making today's video, because after watching this, man... It really shows you how much of a piece of shit this dude is. Let's check out this video. So the video we're checking out was published on December 18th, Marvel Legends unboxing and giveaway announcement. So let's, let, let's see what this giveaway. I've already seen it, but I want to show you guys. Let's check this shit out. It's too funny. And before we get into the announcement winners, by the way, thank you so much, Hasbro, for sending these free figures my way. Wait, 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 wait. Did you guys hear that? Did, did you guys hear that? Let, let's check that out again into the announcement winners by the way thank you so much hasbro for sending these free figures my way wait did i hear free figures no 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 all right so let's hit the the captions right here i i have to make sure i heard this correctly and before we get into the announcement winners by the way thank you so much hasbro for sending these free figures my way which i already bought i spent a bunch of money on them but I'm giving them away to the viewers, so that's cool. Passing. All right, so we, we learned right there. He got these figures for free. He's already bought them. So he, he already spent money on these figures, but he's getting these free figures, and he's going to do a giveaway. So he's giving away the figures that were for free. He didn't spend any money on this. These were given to him by Hasbro, and he's going to do a giveaway. That's something you're going to boast about. Okay, let's, let's go on. Okay. This is the box of the four figures. Thanks again, Hasbro, for making this possible. I really like the packaging for this thing. I thought this was really cool. And 
I am keeping one for myself. It is the Mystique figure that I'm going to keep for myself because it's, this one has better paint apps than the one that I have right now. And plus, I want to see if I can, you know, mess around modding it and stuff like that. You guys heard that, right? He's getting this box of free figures, but he's got to keep this one for himself. <laughs> it's got better paint apps or whatever. Uh, I'm going to modify the other one. That's why. Dude, really? How are you going to announce a giveaway and then say, oh, but, but, but I'm keeping one, guys? <laughs> and he already said that he's bought, you know, the, the, the figures before. It, it, make, it doesn't make sense, man. There's an addiction there, man. I mean, this dude couldn't just give it away, right? It's not a true giveaway. This dude's like, oh, I'm going to give away this whole fucking Hasbro figure set, but I'm keeping this one. Like, nah, 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 nah. I have my little post-it of the winners right here. I ask that you guys help me out with the shipping costs with these because... As I do more giveaways, it gets costlier and costlier, so I really appreciate it, and it allows me to do even more giveaways like this, right? Okay, so first off... All right, you guys heard that correctly. I'm not even going to go through the rest of the video. You guys can check it out if you guys want to, but it's fucking stupid. This dude linked me to his fucking video just to be like, hey, dude, I did a giveaway. I did something good. Number one, it was a free product that he received. Thank you, Hasbro, and this and that. Number two, I can't believe it. This dude didn't even give away the full product. He took one away. No, no, no. I got to keep this one. It's got better paint apps. It makes no sense. Well, then swap the one that you had and give, give away that one. Actually, he should have done that either. This is fucked up either situation. Like, <laughs> he's actually going to keep part of the giveaway. And the last one is this dude is expecting the winners to pay for shipping. I've never seen a giveaway on YouTube where the YouTubers are like, hey, I need you to pay for shipping so I can do more giveaways. Nah. That's fucking stupid. That's what this dude already has a Patreon and shit like that. That's what that is for. It, it, oh my God. Why the fuck did this dude direct me to this video? It makes no sense. Yeah, yeah, he did good. Yeah, I'm not convinced. <laughs> this dude is a piece of shit. He should have never came by my channel. He should have never brought this shit back up. I would have never fucking made this video. Learn how to keep your mouth shut and take criticism. This dude is a fucking scammer, e-beggar. He's a fucking piece of shit. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please drop a like. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'll be catching you guys soon. Peace out. <laughs>